We are so pleased to be here today with Sue Wiley. She is a legend in Lexington media, radio, and television. And Sue, we just surprised her with the news. I, say, <laughs> I have the Kleenex to, to prove it. <laughs> she is going to be inducted into the Gold Circle at the Ohio Valley Regional Emmy Awards this summer. It's quite a prestigious honor. Nick Clooney is one of the big names that a lot of people around here would recognize being in that group. And we are so pleased, Sue, that uh, you're going to be honored in this way. <laughs> well, I, again, I am so uh, honored, honored is the word, and uh, uh, so surprised and so, so grateful. So. Well, and so deserving. This uh, award is for 50 years of accomplishments in the Ohio Valley region. Now that's Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, and Kentucky. Wow. This isn't just Kentucky or even Lexington. You are an outstanding representative of television in this entire region, to me, in the entire country. Oh, well, that's so sweet of you, Nancy. And of course, uh, you know, uh, you, th it's so wonderful to see you and so many women in television now. I mean, uh, there was a time when it was a very lonely world. There was all, all men in the newsroom and so forth. So it's, we've seen some wonderful, wonderful changes over the years. You forced those changes in many ways. And Sue, I want you to tell me about that first job in television uh, and a little bit about your history, how you kind of kept uh, tugging the sleeves of the old boy network and saying, I want in. Well. Um, uh, broadcasting was my chosen career. I studied in college, but at that time, women, uh, all, you could be on television if you were a woman, but you couldn't really be in television. You couldn't be a producer or a director or a videographer or anything. You could be on television. So I started out doing uh, commercials, of course, and uh, hostessing uh, midday movies and, uh, you know, the cut-ins. So we'll get back to the movie in a minute, but first I want to tell you about this Kelvinator refrigerator, <laughs> that kind of thing. And, uh, uh, I mean, there really were no women in any uh, positions uh, in production. And, uh, but uh, what happened was uh, I, went, I went to Miami when NBC opened its television affiliate there, and uh, a little um, baby was abandoned. Oh, no, I started doing because uh, on the noon show, mm -hmm. the midday show. I started uh, because women were at home back then. Most mm -hmm. of the women did not work so much. And they, they were th there was a weatherman, there were two male anchors, and then they thought they needed a woman's touch. Mm -hmm. So they got me to come in and do something on flowers or child care oh or recipes or makeup, something like that. But then a little... Um, newborn baby was found abandoned in a garbage can outside a major hospital there. And the news director said, babies? Oh, women know about babies. So he put me on the story. Well, it turned out to be a really hard news story. You know, who was this little boy? Uh, the mother was a teenager on drugs. We got into the teenage drug problem. It became a big, big story. It went on. And before I knew it, I was the first woman to do hard news in the state of Florida. Uh, not just recipes and uh, yes. makeup. And uh, so from there, but uh, when I moved to Lexington, I married a man from here. That's why I came from Miami. And I went to the NBC affiliate right away, and I said, this is what I do in Miami. Or, and they said, well, good. Well, we'll start a noon show here. Yeah. And you, but you'll have to produce it. I said, okay, great. And uh, we had, at that time, I was the only, the newsroom was much smaller, mm -hmm. not like Channel 18's <laughs> newsroom today. But uh, I was the only woman in there. And uh, our news director at that time was a, a very traditional fellow. He had never worked with uh, women in television before. Wow. And I remember one day sitting, he called me into his office and he said to me, did you see that woman who was in the newsroom? I said, yes. He said, you know what she wanted? I said, what? He said, she wanted a job. And I said, well, so what? He said, I, I said, what did you tell her? He, he said, I told her, I told her we already had one, meaning a woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he had one woman he wasn't going to put up with anymore. Oh, my. <laughs> and I hope a lot of young women in television will click on this and listen to this. You don't realize um, how things have changed so much. 
We uh, teased a little earlier, Sue said, I've never cried on TV before, but someone else said, well, you've made a lot of other people cry. <laughs> Tell me about some of those more interesting interviews you did and, and some of the news you broke. Well, um, yes, we uh, started doing a political show uh, at the when the urban county government merged, uh, the city and county governments, and... Uh, it was a whole new form of government for Lexington, and I said, we've got to cover this. I said, I'll come in on a Sunday you, and, and do a show. I'll get someone from Urban Council or I'll get the mayor. And that grew into uh, your government, which became, then we had state guests and national yes. guests. We had governors. We had uh, presidential candidates and uh, so forth. And uh, because I was a woman, see, that, would, that wouldn't happen now. But because I asked tough questions, oh, that bitch they yeah. said <laughs> i mean now i mean the heavens are you turn on television i mean every anchor on fox is a woman yeah. asking tough questions yeah. but back then it was considered you know very oh, women just didn't no. do tough tough uh journalism but um, yeah the show grew and grew and yes we uh we, we had a wonderful time i think we helped uh uh i helped some candidates uh the, it got to be, the show had a very tough reputation. Yes, it did. It did. And uh, I was very proud of it. I think of probably of what of all the things I did at the years at Channel 18, your government was, yeah. One of the first things I did at Channel 18 was to sit in on the tapings of your government because something always newsworthy came out of it. And that was so true. Uh, I'd turn around and we'd lead with a, a story that Sue broke on the air. Who's your favorite guest you may have had on there? or most interesting, however you want to put it? Let me think. You know, people ask me that a lot, and it, it, they were interesting at, because of what was going on at the moment. True. Oh, we had on, uh, uh, we one, one day during a presidential race, we had on three presidential candidates. You're kidding. I remember. We had George Wallace, we had uh, Ronald Reagan, and we had, uh, I forget the third one that day, Oh, and we had Jimmy Carter. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and uh, of course our old Channel 18, you were there. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was built in the 50s, and uh, oh, yeah, it was built in the 50s, and it was just a, a little dump. Right. Now you're a big, beautiful I facility know. now, of course, <laughs> uh, that you're so proud of and should be. But uh, Ronald Reagan was coming, mm -hmm. and we were very lucky. I had to talk uh, his, because uh, he, he was expected to be the next president of the United States, and I uh, we had... Uh, the makeup man, his big makeup man, called from uh, California. Yeah. Said, now, uh, the governor, uh, there. you do have a green room where you can rest before the show. I, a green room, you know. <laughs> and I didn't realize that there would be busloads of national press following wow. it. I mean, busloads. So anyway, um, and he said, and you do have a makeup man or makeup person. Of course, we didn't. We had a dirty old powder puff, you know, had a <laughs> box of <laughs> Pond's face powder. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and our men's room was a disgrace. Yes. It was a disgrace. And I went to our president and I said, we are going to have probably the next president of the United States here tomorrow. I cannot send him into that men's room. What are we going to do? So John Duvall, our president at uh -huh. the time, he thought a minute. He said, well, there's only one thing to do. We went out and we changed the signs. We took the men's room sign and put it on the women's room, changed them around. <laughs> And uh, I've I told this story many times, and uh, there was a little green couch in there, yes. a little vinyl couch. So a pulling mirror, I, even. <laughs> but I, to this day, I'm sure Governor, later President Reagan, wondered why there was a Kotex machine in the <laughs> men's room. <laughs> <laughs> he probably told that story himself a few times, Sue. Well, we can't wait to be there in person to see you honored. You're so deserving. I can't wait to see what you'll wear. I mean, you've always been a fashion icon, well, just look beautiful. Who's talking. <laughs> this is Kentucky here. Oh, but we really can't wait. Um, well, it's it's uh, again. I'm just overcome. I really am. And you're doing this interview on the spot, and that's not fair, I know. But I would ask you, just is there anyone you just want to say um, a thanks to or even, ha-ha, I told you I was going to make it? <laughs> uh, oh, there are so many people to thank. Our late Harry Barfield, mm -hmm. who hired me. Mm -hmm. uh, 
blindly. I mean, I, I, my audition consisted of going in the studio, and he said, just go in the studio, we we'll turn a camera on, and just, just talk. Talk about anything. And I did. I made up some news story, yeah. you know, and uh, that was it. He said, okay, we'll start a new show, just like that. Wow. And uh, I, him, uh, I said, Mike Taylor, our <laughs> assignment editor many years, uh, I mean, it was a wonderful, you know, we all leaned on Mike every day of our lives for story ideas, and he was always so accommodating and helping us with any idea we had. Um, so, so, so many people, so Nancy. Yeah. And I, I know you've touched so many because I still hear from people who want to tell Sue stories or ask how you're doing and all that. And I want to let you know right before we surprised you here today, I did share this news on WVLK Radio. Oh, you did? I did. And I listen to you on every week. Oh, with well, you're on twice a week. Yeah. Today I didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Good thing. And I know your radio family told me to tell you congratulations. Everyone at Channel 18. Um, just wish you the best and we love you we miss you <laughs> and you've had an impact on our professional lives and on our personal lives thank oh, you for everything thank you Nancy thank you so much thank you for clicking on this LEX 18 digital conversation with Sue Wiley <laughs>